どっちですか And so, I got this very interesting comment, and it is interesting because it gives me the opportunity to tell you a story. Let me read it for you. Mario says, I don't know why you're wasting your time with GNOME. GNOME developers hate you. First off, that is totally true and there are obvious reasons we all know, so no point to go there. So without further time wasting, let's jump to dramatic story mode. A long time ago in a galaxy somewhere here, it was a period that everyone was loving me. They were loving me that much they actually offered me free tickets for aquatic event, that I politely denied, but the gesture remained. At that time I was running a blog with GNOME News, that it was so popular I had to pay $50 a month for the server. I didn't have much, but I was enjoying it so I was keeping it. That blog was very good informed because I was getting all the news directly from developers. In fact, sometimes they were even proofreading it for me. But yet, there were times I was making technical mistakes. And these times I was getting aggressive comments. I was young, reckless and vulnerable. Probably I had low self-esteem too. And believe it or not, I was feeling terrible in every such moment. But it was a moment I will never forget. One time I made an ugly versus pretty girl joke, and suddenly the feminist community attacked me in the worst possible way. Actually, they still have my name in some of their wikis that label people. But what bothered me the most, is that nobody from GNOME defended me publicly. I got lots of private supportive emails, but nothing public. Actually, with their way they forced me to remove this article. Honestly, that was one of my top 10 worst moments of my life. And after more than a year of giving and giving and giving, for first time I asked GNOME to help me. Me with two more friends, we thought to open a store selling GNOME premium stuff, mostly jewelry. It was this European program for youth business, that we submit our proposal and we accepted for 30,000 euros. I had already contacted GNOME board, and they were super polite and super willing to give us a license for their trademarks. But later it was proved they were just super polite but not really willing. First they delayed to even send us a license agreement to sign, so we pretty much start losing paperwork submission deadlines. But even worse, they sent us a paper to sign that pretty much was saying that they could terminate the agreement anytime they wanted without any reason. Eventually I lost about 2000 euros, and also I had a fight with one of my best friends he also had spent money to open the company. Then, it was some more things happened I didn't like, and definitely I didn't like this kind of censorship and behavior rules that GNOME community, and every community really, is forcing to their members. Most probably though, it was I starting to get good jobs so I might started to develop a little bit ego, and not been so accepting. Short story, that's how I became an ass. And so, do you see the irony here? When GNOME developers were loving me, I was sad, I got humiliated, I lost money, I even fought with my friends. But now they hate me? I'm actually happy, nothing bad has happened on my YouTube life, and I'm even making money. And to finally answer to that comment, I might have only lost from GNOME people but I really have gained a lot from GNOME project. So I do love the project and I'm using it, but I simply don't care about the people behind it. And I don't really care for that comment either. You see where I'm heading? And bonus? When you don't care for people in community you are free to say whatever. No matter how stupid that is. For example, you see that guy speaking about ethics and open source values on every event he goes? All those after he's publicly thanking Exxon Mobil as a Red Hat partner. You know, this company that's actually killing people in Middle East, 